Hi! Today we will work on hands and arm movements. We start in basic posture, two feet parallel on the ground, knees are soft, pelvis tucked in, shoulders down. Relax your arms, let them fall naturally. Stand straight and relax your entire body. Imagine that you are a marionette and that your elbow is lifted, so the arm is raised from the elbow. And now the wrist is lifted gently. Then the elbow goes down and the wrist follows with the palm away from me. And again the arm is lifted elbow first, wrist follows. And elbow leads down. This is the movement I'm looking for. The arm is raised from the elbow with the palm facing inwards and lowered from the elbow, palm facing outwards. As if it is stroking something. Also, notice that my hands are distant from the body, not getting too close to it. And let's try it with the left arm. Here too, the elbow is raised first and the wrist follows, elbow down, it is important to practice each arm separately. Keep your hands relaxed. Now we can do the bird movement. Raise both arms together and lower them. Arms go up and down. As if they are two wings. We are ready now for the snake arms. I raise one arm and while taking it down I raise the other. One goes up and the other down. This move can be done smaller or very big. You can also move the arm in front of you or up. It usually requires some coordination and needs to be practiced. A different move with a similar effect is the one coming not from the arms but from the shoulders. We stand in our basic posture and start rolling our shoulders backwards alternately. I like doing these shoulder rolls during warm-up. Now I raise my arms to the sides but keep them soft so when my shoulder goes back it pulls the arm with it. I don't really move the arm but I let it get carried by the shoulder. Another useful move is the hand swirl. Here there are no strict rules. You can simply bend and straighten your hands softly. It's possible to think of it as waves. Stretch your hand and release. And again I stretch it and release. Stretch, release. 
I work here mostly with the hand and less with the wrist that only moves a little bit. I can add to this move a circular motion of the wrist. And together I get a nice soft hand movement. But the easier way to work with the hands is to move them softly in any way that you are comfortable with. No strict rules. And in time it will come out by itself. Okay, so after learning some arm movements, let's see how we combine them in our dance. Belly dance is focused on the central part of the body, chest and hips. And the arms usually serve as a frame. So if I work with the right hip, I want my right arm to make a frame that will emphasize it and my left arm will be lifted up or near my head and I have a few frames I like to use so my arms can do this one or that one many times the arms are simply lifted up in a classical position or in a more folkloric one The most important thing is that the arms should emphasize the body and hip movements to make them more beautiful.